hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Angels that I got the message trying to get my bread up, gotta keep my head up, but I'm getting fed up. Niggas know I'm pressure. Still deal with days where I know I'm great, but I'm feeling less. I got a nigga stressing, got me smoking heavy. Damn, I swear this weed shit been cold steady. Pretty fucking amazing, sorry than the dope aesthetics. 33 grand bro, nigga, I ain't smoking Reggie, but the clip on me and I'm talking Reggie. Man, I cut some. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Shout out to my guy Showtime SP. I know so many of y'all gonna be asking where is he at. My dog definitely had to work today, so we went to the event, got back home four in the morning. He's going to work. I'm here now, about to upload this, and then we're gonna work volume. He'll be back here tonight to recap that. So you gotta get it how you gotta get it, cause you need this content, and I can't sit on it for two, three days. But we do have a Waffle House recap that we did, uh, I will definitely put his footage in here so you can get his opinion of who he thought won all of these particular battles, but um, I'll run through the card real quick. I do, do have individual recaps for Easy versus Big T and Jazz versus Shice Raw, but I will tell you my opinions and how I felt about the rest of the battles and the main event and the mic issues, all of that all wrapped in one. You know what I'm saying? If you fuck with my handle, make sure you subscribe to the channel. There's only one way you're going to get this kind of content, you know what I'm saying? Because you know what it'd be. The rest of them niggas just ain't me. Now let's just keep it moving. Steel and Kaboom versus News and Top Floor. Lou, K. Walker versus D.I. the Handyman. Danny Myers versus Cuban. Jazz the Rapper versus Shice Raw. Easy the Black Captain versus Big T. Bill Collector versus Rosenberg Raw. Live from TLA. Uh, I'll run through these real quick, then get to the main event, which I'm going to talk about the most. Uh, Steel and Kaboom versus News and Top Floor Loot. Uh, news and Top Floor Loot. Young, newer guys out of Philly. I really uh, got to see them. Uh, I saw them on No Entourage. Now I'm watching them again on the this card right here, Battle Academy. I know Battle Academy's putting a lot of stain behind these guys. And uh, in the first round, I did like a lot of what News and Top Floor Loot was doing. I like, but they, they had like some little chemistry issues. Like the two on two, you gotta kind of be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, big T doing greasy before the shirt jumper, after the shot, Beasley. But hold on, what you said about that? Let's take it easy. Like, it's more, like, it's gotta be really, 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 really connected. And when I flipped to the other team, Steel and Kaboom, Kaboom was rapping like 98% of the time. I couldn't even understand. And yo, y'all rounds, both teams. Y'all niggas rounds was wild long, son. I left, went to the VIP, went around the side, came out, got me a drink, went to the bathroom, got me a cheese, they came back, these niggas are still rapping. I'm like, son, why is these niggas have 48 minute rounds? Well, I promise. I was in there, my nigga, my ACL started being like, bro, you wanna sit down? I can sit you down for a long time if you wanna sit down. I can sit you down. I said, no, please, come on, dog. Don't, don't do it to me, man. Do not, do not do that to me right now. So, I kinda was like, I just never understood uh, why the motherfucker uh, rounds was so long. I couldn't understand that nigga rounds was like 40 minutes long. I'm like, damn, these niggas is still rapping. I left, came back, niggas is still rapping. I couldn't fucking believe that shit. So, um, I hit you, babe. Yeah. Um, so, these niggas is still rapping. I couldn't fucking believe that shit. I'm like, why is this going on? But anyway, I'm gonna give y'all props. Philly go hard like that. Niggas is trying to get it in. And shout out to news and top floor loot so yeah while i look forward to seeing more of y'all in the future uh i would just say this kaboom had to me i loved what kaboom was doing i felt like once the round started moving along he just said fuck it i'm jumping in my bag and i'm just gonna take over and he took over and i felt like he got it the one thing i will say the event did start a little bit later than it might probably was originally envisioned to and they probably had a cap on the time in the building, so I liked it because after that they had to keep this shit moving, and that's the way I like to do. Um, K Walker versus Henny Man, Di the Henny Man. Salute to Di the Henny Man, everything that he does. Uh, salute to K Walker. K Walker had one of the better performances of the night. I loved what he was able to do. That Muslim scheme, the out Ramadan, the hum do the do it hum do a lot like this, yo. I loved what he did last night. 
I seen K Walker battle. Uh, he was he was he was wigging in his shit. The other handyman. He he. I loved his first. Uh, he fought for a little reaction in the beginning, beginning, because this is just the way it is. Philly ain't going, but he definitely got the third. I got Di Handyman winning the third. I got K Walker winning the first. The second is mad close. I'm like, I got. I, I will probably watch it again. K Walker on this side, Handyman on this side. Like it, it's a tight battle. K Walker could be two one. Henny man could be 2-1. It's interesting. I like it. K Walker 2-1. Fuck it. If you want my, I'm gonna go K Walker 2-1. I got Henny Man clearly winning the third though. Let's just do it like that. I definitely got him winning the third. Danny Myers versus Cuban. Uh Danny Myers, he said in his battle, he battled every week in 2022. Every week. My nigga, you need a break. There is no reason why, no way you should be battling every damn week. Um I love what you do. I love the bars that you put together. I knew you was gonna have the Cuban Missile Crisis, the Cuban, I, I know how that gonna go, cause it's the bar guy. He's gonna, my mind is all a dinosaur, a dinosaur. Like I know what he's gonna do, but not like specifically, but put together a round. It was only a one rounder. So I don't invest a lot of stock in one rounders. And even to like break down and go bars for bars and all of that with one rounders, cause they're just one round. But I will say this, uh, I do have Cuban. Winning the, the run round the 1 0. I was very impressed with the flows and with the way Cuban was able to put on. And I hadn't spoken to Cuban in like two years. We was cool. We fell out over some petty shit, but we did speak, take a picture. I met his pops. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what he does next and hoping that he continues to put on like that because uh, I like what he did last night. I'm not even going to hold you. Like, there may be certain people out there who probably got Danny in it, but. I just felt like Cuban had enough moments to win last night, and that nigga was definitely in his fucking bag. Uh, I got individual recaps for the other two battles between Shice Raw and Jazz, and Easy the Black Hat vs. Big T. It's 30 and 30 anyway, however you want, 30 for 30. Jazz, Easy, 30 for 30. Period. Um, Bill Collector versus Rosenberg Raw. So, I got so many thoughts and perspectives, up, down, left, right, whatever have you about this battle, but I will say this. Um, shout out to Bill Collector, shout out to Frozenberg. Uh, they were definitely heading towards a grudge match. They built this up. The city came out. Uh, a lot of MCs was in the building. Iron Solomon. Shout out to I saw Iron Solomon. I had to get a picture with him. I'm a fan of Iron Solomon. I ain't I ain't too I ain't too big to be like, yo, I don't fall. I'm not a fan. No, I'm a fan of these battle rappers at the end of the day. I know that we transcend and we mold and some of us bloggers and shit become figures in this game too. But at the end of the day, I'm genuinely a fan of a lot of these battle rappers. And I got no problem saying it. Like, I watch your stuff. Like, e -Ness, I am a fan of e -Ness, You know what I'm saying? I am enamored by the things that he's able to do lyrically on the stage and shit like that. But let's get to the battle. So, Bill Collector comes into this battle. $100,000 battle he won. He's done a bunch of shit in this year. And now he's battling against Rosenberg in Philadelphia. Um, the Mikes won this battle. be honest with you. The Mikes won this battle. Frozenberg first round was so impacted by the mics that I can't even like I can't take I can't I can't I can't eat that smack voice I can't take that from him I can't like I'm not able to do that like I can't wholeheartedly tell you I was standing like they got the crowd right there in front of the stage and they got like a VIP to the left but the VIP I got mass security you can't just walk up there and shit like that oh whoa, whoa, wait hey hey partner oh whoa whoa about to fly up there hey not like that but you know what I mean it was a VI they had that section so I'm right there and I can see the whole shit with no regards and every time Raw would try to rap in the first he couldn't get a bar off it just was so bad and I don't and I know it wasn't on stairs or Battle Academy because they don't have anything to do with the mics, you know what I'm saying? It's the people, you know what I'm saying, who set it up or who's running the, the, the sound and all that other shit. I seen your boy clipping them and the city trying to get it together. But for some reason, in this Frozenberg versus Bill, it, it, it didn't, what it was supposed to do, it, it didn't happen. And that's strictly because of the bad mics. Bill Collector's rapping, his mic starts messing up. He grabs Stiz's handheld mic and starts rapping off of that. You know, Bill is a wild nigga. He got that type of energy. Um, so, first round, I can't. Roy ain't even got a round. You know what I'm saying? You know, how am I going to say he lost a round? A loss and he ain't got a round. You know what I mean? Overall, in the battle, I probably got Bill Collector winning the battle one 
and a half to nothing or maybe one nothing. I can't do 3-0. I can't do 2-1. I can't. I couldn't. After a while, you guys got to understand this, right? By the time this battle happened, it was probably like 1 in the morning. A lot of them niggas got there like 6 o'clock because the doors open at 5. 6 is when a lot of people show up and 7s and... You know, they be smoking, joking, talking shit, taking pictures, yada, yada, yada. I ain't get there till like almost 7.30, 8 o'clock. And by the time this battle happened, it was almost 1 in the morning. And the mics and everything was messing up. Uh, I, 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 it, was, it impacted me a lot. I'm not going to lie. It, like, it really impacted my ability to be able to truly gauge and assess this battle and give you a real recap because it didn't happen like that. Now, when Rose mic got fixed... Oh, he, he started cooking. But then after he started cooking, the mic fucked up again. I'm like, bro, like, how can I really show love if the nigga mic keep messing up? I just think that it was one of those situations where if they was going to do anything or if that type of shit was going to happen, they should have made that shit. They should have got them. You can't. The main event cannot go wrong. That's what I'm saying. The main event cannot go wrong. Like I said, this is not no fault of Stiz. Stiz ain't no motherfucking audio engineer. He's not the mic man. He's not doing that. He's just paying for a service. But the main event, you have to get the main event right because I just feel like there was so much that that battle could have been that it wasn't because of the mics. Like the mics won 3-0, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I leave me no choice, I leave you no voice. Hard luck, you know, I gotta have a little Starbucks today because uh, Jazz was on 10, so I had to uh, celebrate the win. Uh, but overall, overall, dope, dope event to be at. I don't know about how it was on pay-per-view because I wasn't on there. Um, but I will say this. Uh, I'm looking forward to Battle Academy putting on more, doing bigger events, and continuing to rock. But that Bill and Raw, man, it, it, you ain't really going to get the true feeling of what it could have been. I'm not. I, I, don't ha I didn't leave the parking garage feeling like they really got off what they got off. Now, Bill's third, he was wild. I'm not going to hold you. That's why I said I got Bill like one and a half to nothing, you know what I'm saying? Because I had Bill winning the third, and the first was negated by the mic. Mike was up 1-0, and I probably had Bill with like half of the second, so I'm like one and a half to nothing. I mean, that's all I really got for you. I would love to have more, but I can't give you what I ain't got. I got I put some footage and shit in there, you know what I mean? That's what it is, but uh, let's throw Showtime SP's assessment of the whole thing, Waffle House Chronicles. You niggas know what it is, gang gang. Hold up, Waffle House Chronicles. One time back with the nobody that knows bodies. All right, so you know, world acclaim. What's up, man? Talk to me. Talk nice, man. The goal is to get this whole recap done before the food get hit. Oh, okay. So the only thing I, I'm, I'm just mad at, the only thing I'm mad at mm -hmm. about this whole event, right. Ishka Bibbles was right across the street, and I didn't get a chance to go across the street. I was in tune ah, to the battle. Ah, you know what I'm there's um, a lot of love out there in Philly, facts. though. What up? Shout out to, man. It feels good to be back in my city, man. It feels good oh, to yeah, be back in your town. Oh, yeah. We in your town. Uh. Love, <laughs> the love was there. I love the vibe, man. Shout out to Stan. Shout out to Battle Rap Academy. Um, Let's run this down. All right. So, K-Walker versus uh, Henny, man. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give K-Walker the battle 2-1. Uh, okay. Uh, I felt like Henny, man's third round was clear. Mm -hmm. Um, I felt like K-Walker was clear. The debate is really in the second round. I kind of edged K-Walker in that one. But it could um, be argued that K-Walk got a second one. It could be argued. I mean, it's I can, I can, I mean I'll, no, Henny Man, it could be argued. Yeah, Henny I'm saying, niggas can argue Henny Man. Like I said, the, the debate is, if y'all saying that, you know, Henny Man won the battle, I'm, I'm, I'm here for that. I'm here for all, all of right. that. Um, uh, second battle was um, uh, Steel and Kaboom and um, uh, Luke and, um, damn, forgot. Top Floor Luke and yep, News. Yep. Top Floor Luke and News. First round. Top four Luke News, they was cooking. They had that first round. It seemed like Boom was still chemistry wasn't there. But for the second and the third round, Boom won that shit by his goddamn self. Crazy. He won that shit crazy, by himself. crazy. He probably was going crazy for that. Um <clears throat> I think third battle was um uh uh it was uh, oh it was Jazz and Shite. Oh man. Listen, listen, I've said this before, I'm gonna say it again. Jazz Jazz. Oh man, Jazz. take cover, take cover, Jazz. take cover. <laughs> you are the greatest. Oh. Okay, you, 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 it's clear that you you're the greatest. You do this shit every time. Every, yo, every time. What's every up with time. this nigga, man? Yo, listen. All I'm saying is Jazz What's up with this nigga, man? is one of the best. Right. I told her that, and I think she heard me this time. 
Um, but yeah, salute to her. Um, and you know, niggas was really mad at me because of the fact that I didn't know who Shice Raw was. And after tonight, I still don't know who Shice Raw is because I, I barely <coughs> heard a thing from Shice Raw. Oh and my goodness. And that's no disrespect to Shice Raw, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, she, was, she was combating a lot of things. Uh, maybe anxiety, maybe stage for I don't know. But Jazz had the paramedics call on Shice Raw. There was a towel thrown in on Shice Raw. Like, it was just was, it, it just was dark. It was dark. It was dark. Mm, Shice Raw. Mm. Um, Jazz clearly got that battle. Um, after that, um, Big T versus Easy, man. Yes, sir. Big T versus Easy went down. and uh, We said it was going to be 3-0, right? <laughs> It was clear as day. Right. I mean, shout out to Big T. You know, he definitely, he, he wrapped his rounds. Mm -hmm. One no slip and one no stumbles. It wasn't like, you know, a lot of people was messing up. It's just, for some reason, it just wasn't hitting. Right. It not wasn't the, hitting. Not, not the night. Mm -hmm. It just wasn't like that. Easy in Philly is, 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 is. is it, Yo, that, that shit was, that shit that was electric. That was payback. You know what that was? That was payback for New York. That was payback for New York. Even though Philly didn't get cheated, that was payback for New York. Um, and the main event of the night, man, the grudge match, man, the debate is over, the battle is over. After everything, after it's all said and done, man, Bill Collector got the battle, if you ask me. Right. Uh, I, I, I definitely got Bill Collector winning that battle. Uh, the mic was messing with, with Rosenberg the first round. Uh, some people were saying that the, the uh, Raw first round was, mm -hmm. was 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 clean and they, they gave Raw the first round. Right. Um, second round, I kind of I, I really had Bill going all three rounds. Um, no, and this is no hate. There's no bias. It's just because of the fact that I felt Rosenberg like I really did. Like I felt as though he was painting the picture, but Bill has this ability. To make it palatable Like he had bars He had the inside He was jumping in and out of the bars He had things that was like You know he was performing too It's just that Raw was talking to you um, He was talking to Bill the whole time And sometimes You know it don't It don't hit right But man I just I don't know I think I'm gonna have to see this battle again um, But yeah I, I gave Bill I gave Bill at least At least the first and the third The second round Raw really fought back. The mic was just, you know, it's just the mic. The mic was messing up on me. That that, that was really the, the main issue in the building. So I'm pretty sure on a recap, on a rewatch, right? It, it it definitely come down a lot different. Um, yeah, salute, man. Salute to y'all, man. Uh, tired. Who would you feel like had like performance of the night tonight? Was it um, Jazz? I believe I'm I'm gonna go with Jazz. My Jazz had the performance of the night. Easy. I don't know though because. It's a it's a debate between Jazz and Easy. Uh, 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 my dark horse or my uh, or my definitely honorable mention is Kaboom because that nigga won a two on two by himself. Right. You know I was saying? like, it was the other dude gonna rap again. Say like, uh, still rap, but he was cool. It's just you could tell their chemistry just wasn't there. It's was crazy because Top Floor Luton News chemistry was on point. It's just after the second and the third, it just wasn't really swinging like that. But I don't know. I don't, I don't know. You know. Right, 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 right. On the rewatch, but yes, Jazz the rapper probably got the uh, performance of the night. Easy the block captain on whether it's an away game, whether it's a home game, whether it's an exhibition, whether it's a playoff. Just know he's coming with three, and he's going to smoke anybody that's in front of him. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ski. Uh huh. Uh. So yeah. We're going to wrap this one up, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, <laughs> we got to go. <laughs> you got it done, boy. Appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody. Get a fed up, niggas know I'm pressure. Still deal with days where I know I'm great, but I'm feeling less. I got a nigga stressing, got me smoking heavy.